This is a normal speed video that I uploaded last time. Practice drawing with me. Draw a circle at the position of the head. Draw the outline of the face. Draw the center line of the face and the neckline. Determine the position and angle of the shoulder and draw a guideline. Think of the torso in two parts and draw a guideline. Draw the center line so that you can see the three-dimensional shape of the body. Determine the position of the knee and draw a side line towards it. Decide the position of the elbow in your head and draw the arm. Before I draw a picture, I decide what kind of pose I want, but I often change my mind halfway through. Even if you think the balance is wrong, you can redraw it, so don't worry about it and draw it first. When drawing a hand, first draw the overall three-dimensional shape and then draw the fine details such as the fingers. When drawing a face, draw a line that serves as a guide while keeping in mind the three-dimensional shape of the face. If you draw the eyes below half of the base, it will create a cute balance. Draw a thin line first instead of a dark line. I felt uncomfortable with the position of the ears, so I redo them. Once the rough shape of the eyes is decided, I will draw the details and angle of the line, and the position of eyelashes will change the fashion, so adjust until you get the look you like. Draw a nose and mouth. Draw eyelids and eyebrows. You can change expression by changing the angle with a like to try various things and draw the eyes you like.
When drawing the hair, consider the gravity and draw so that the hair hangs naturally. I'll draw the bangs first. Consider the flow of the hair while being conscious of the three-dimensional shape of the head. Next, draw the side hair. It will be cute if you draw so that the face is hidden a little. Add hair while adjusting the overall balance. Drawing the hair changes the overall balance a little so I made the face smaller and adjusted to my liking. Draw cat ears. At first, I was going to draw bob hair, but I changed my mind so I added back hair to make it longer. I draw vigorously without worrying about the details and hair while keeping in mind the overall silhouette. Draw the tail. I will draw the clothes according to the body. Draw a skirt. Erase the parts of the body that are hidden by the clothes. This time I do suspenders, but later I erase them because I didn't like them. Draw the folds of the skirt.
raw leg accessories. I looked at the overall balance of the picture and adjusted the details. I draw the clothes according to the body. Erase the parts of the body that are hidden by the clothes. Draw earrings. Draw a turkey hair accessory.
time to draw shoes. Sorry for not being an example. Lightly press with a kneaded eraser to thin the rough sketch. Draw a line art with Copic Monkey Line. From here, it will be played at four times speed. When drawing with a fine liner pen, it's easier to draw starting with what's in front. Gradually thicken the outline as this time I draw while correcting the distortion of the line. Draw especially thick lines for the outline of the whole illustration, the part that will be shadows and the part that you want to emphasize. Thank you for watching.